For two straight days, health authorities in Bangladesh reported death tolls which broke all previous death records. On Tuesday, Bangladesh reported 258 deaths due to coronavirus in a 24-hour count. With this, the cluster of COVID deaths in the country has reached 19,779, revealed DGHS in its routine daily statement. From August 7, sport registration service will be available at Union Porishad levels. Those eligible for COVID vaccination will have to bring their NID cards along with them at the vaccination centres to receive COVID jab. On Tuesday, July 27, Home Minister Asad Zaman Khan revealed the matter to the press following an inter-ministerial meeting at the Secretariat. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina today said she has instructed the authorities concerned to inoculate the people massively with COVID-19 vaccines to ensure protection of all. The Prime Minister said this during a function which she joined virtually from her Ghanabhavan residence. As many as 21 people have died of COVID-19 at Rapchai Medical College and Hospital RMCH in the past 24 hours. The health official said on Tuesday that 10 of the deceased were confirmed COVID-19 patients, while the rest died with symptoms of the virus. Rejecting the statement of Amnesty International over the Digital Security Act in Bangladesh, Information and Broadcasting Minister Dr. Hassan Mahmoud today said that the statement of the organization is motivated. He made the remark to the newsman at his official residence in the city's Mintu Road. Bhutan has inoculated most of its eligible population with second doses of COVID-19 vaccinations in a week, in a speedy rollout hailed by UNICEF on Monday as a success story for international donations. More than 454,000 shots were administered over the past week in the remote Himalayan Kingdom, just over 85% of the eligible population. A boat carrying migrants has capsized off Libya, leaving at least 57 people presumed dead, a UN migration official has said. Safa Sehli, a spokesperson for the International Organization for Migration, said that the boat left the western coastal town of Homs on Sunday. There were at least 75 people on board. Haitian police said Monday they had arrested the head of Shavan al Moise's security as part of the ongoing investigation into the president's July 7 assassination. Security chief John Legal Civil is suspected of involvement in the plot that saw Moise killed at his home in the middle of the night by armed commandos who bypassed the president's guards without firing a shot. Former waiter Tong Yin Kit, 24, had pleaded not guilty to charges of terrorism and inciting secession as well as an alternative charge of dangerous driving causing grievous bodily harm. Tong was accused of driving his motorcycle into three riot police while carrying a flag with the protest slogan, Liberate Hong Kong, Revolution of Our Times. A 19-year-old Pakistani has become the youngest person to summit K2, the world's second-highest mountain, the Alpine Club of Pakistan said on Tuesday. Sheryl's Kashif reached the 28,251-foot summit at 8.10 a.m. on Tuesday.